Hi T Junior, hi Super Linux. Still starting up Minecraft. And we're we're there. We're ready. Okay. Hello and welcome everyone to another Let's Play with the Developers stream. And I guess I gotta wait for the remaining people on the server to sleep. Um Today was a very, very busy day. Um, I've done a huge porting effort today. And I guess I did around, in around 10 hours, around 90% of the porting work we are going to need for updating 2.16. Although it was a lot of work. <laughs> I'm just going to repeat it. A lot of work. Oops. However, we are... Huh? What's happening? Now it's working? Okay. So... I believe that we can probably release... There is some forge box missing. So we have to wait until those get fixed or submit a fix and wait until it gets merged. Um, because at the moment my colonies will just crash when you try to found a colony. Um, although it's not our fault, fortunately. Um, we might have to wait a little bit until we have the first playable alpha for the Patreons. Oh. And I'm still hoping someone is going to sleep. <laughs> Oops. And I'm still, get, still getting here the all the smooth sandstone. Do I have one pack ready now? What? How much is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 stacks. Okay. Ah, when I, when I shift click, it doesn't... Ah, that's interesting. Um, yes, we're going to be supporting 115 until 116 is fully stable and only then we will stop supporting we're going to support 115 with uh, back fix PRs still for a while but the moment 116 is fully stable we're still going to need a while yet so there's no need to worry if you're playing on 115 yet. Yeah, like, at, at least as stable as 115. <laughs> as stable as modded can get. Although mine colonies crashes are extremely rare and 99% of mine colonies crashes are actually forge crashes. So it is already fully stable in 115. 99% of the crashes we get are not our fault or compatibility issues or something like that. We can't prevent from happening. Hi John, how are you doing? I'm mining here. There we go. Yeah, come out to me. That's all normal sandstone now. Still having the annoying healer issue. Yeah, we can look into that. That is... Um, topaz hammer. That's a topaz hammer. Some add-ons made it, so if it sucks, um, blame some add-ons for that. <laughs> He's still lagging in at the moment, as far as I know.
Ah. Bamboo mod issue. What is there additionally? What did the mod do? Like, what is there additionally to mod for uh, bamboo forests? I can't imagine additional reasons for mods. Sandstone, smooth sandstone. Smooth sandstone. Smooth. Normal sandstone. Smooth sandstone. There we go. You can do the same thing. Oops, again. Here. Ah, more uses of bamboo. Okay, I got it. Uh, bamboo blocks. Yeah, that makes sense actually. There we go. Having a short lag. Ah, okay, Guark already adds a bunch of bamboo things. Um, we're having some lag issues. Anyone else on the server? Hi Margo, how are you doing? Yeah, all the development stuff is done at the moment. Okay, I timed out now. Potentially... It's a question, was it server lag or was it my lag? Server, console, can I log in? Was it just me? I think it was just me. Did the server die again? <laughs> I'm unsure. Might have been me. You got timed out too? So yes, the server is dying again. Um, what did you do? Weird. I'm going to restart the server. Already starting very well. <laughs> yeah, again. What's the problem you're having with uh, teaching recipes to the cook? Uh, okay, the server is now shutting down. Weird, it had here a null pointer exception in the log. But that is a normal log. Like a building is null issue and not actually shouldn't affect the server hmm okay now it actually crashed something was timing it out again that's very very weird Maybe one of those structure searching tablets again. Mm, potentially. Those cause a lot of issues. Yeah, but they are removed anyway soon. 
Yeah. Uh, let me check out the crash reports. Oh, uh, we got one here. Seven twelve. That is exactly the time it happened. Uh -huh. It seems to be a lock at the chunk cache again. Performant. Yeah, that's not performant actually. Uh, something because it's a uh, redirect to the normal chunk mm -hmm. get function, as you can see. It runs into the chunk loading on request and gets stuck on chunk loading for some reason. Um, yeah, Twitch doesn't touch the things on your computer. When they pull a mod, then they pull it from the side, but also the packs that they don't pull it from the mod packs either. So someone installing a mod pack with it in is still going to get his mods. Only some, if you make a new pack or update the pack, it doesn't get it included anymore. Yeah, we do um, block anything including wheat in at the cook. That is true. Hmm, that sounds weird then. If the recipe includes wheat and he has to include it in the furnace. Now if the recipe includes wheat and you request it, it should. Oh that's weird then if it worked in one world but not in the other. And we are still thinking about what we're going to do actually I'm not I'm not a huge fan of keep inventory kind of kills the immersion but if the we're going to try out a different grave mod and if that one doesn't work out very well then we will go with keep inventory Go. So we already put 18 in the backpack. Then it's 19, 20. We got now 20 stacks. So that's around 1,280. That's not so much. Did you start the update upgrades already? Mm, not sure. Um, the other grave mods are going to. The other grave mods we are going to use is going to do the same thing. It's not going to drop your items on the ground or something. There's going to be an entity there and when you get to the place um, you can then get your items. No, no, you're not going to get a grave mod that's going to drop your items. That I don't like either. Would be a weird grave mod anyway. Yeah, it's kinda... Defeats the, the reason to have a grave of, mod. Of any is to not drop your items. Yeah. Yay, I'm in. Yay, some items made it as well. Just five people today, so I was dying. We need a new one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, lower turnout tonight. Um, 
smooth sandstone, smooth sandstone. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what the one we are going to get. <laughs> That creepy one is exactly the one we're going to get, I think. I think that was the idea. Because that is the only one... I think that was the only one Wizzy said that doesn't allow other people to pick up your grave. The other grave mods he checked out all allow other people to pick up your grave as well so that is also not a good idea i feel there we go What mods have shown to be least cooperative with mine colonies? Um, usually I would say Optifine. And the only reason, because the only reason Optifine works with mine colonies is because we actively make it work with mine colonies. Else it wouldn't. Um, let's drop some of that stuff here. Huh? That sounds weird then. What version are you on, Margo? Or is it on the server? Okay. We go further here. Eesh. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I think we need to restart again. <laughs> we need to restart again. Why? <laughs> yep, entities are stuck. Entities are stuck. Might that be causing the problem Margo has with the recipes too? Or mm, uh, entity stack no. is something different, right? Yeah, it's just uh, sweating, not calling moving anymore. Can't you do something to recover this? Technically. Having to restart the server every time for it seems a bit... <laughs> Counter counterintuitive, the I would say. That it doesn't instantly die is that I have four sweats which are running and normally don't die all at once. <laughs> Just sometimes on so. Uh, Ray, I blame the stuck entities in Ender Slimes. <laughs> I don't think so. What is causing the stuck entities? I think I fixed it already in performance, but I check. Samantha is double checking. Do we have an old performance version on the server at the moment? A bit old, yes. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that one it was. On chunk request, it tries to load the chunk through the vanilla method. And I want to put the result into a map to cache it, but it actually returns null. Uh, Not sure how that is even possible, since that shouldn't even happen in vanilla. <laughs> when you load a chunk, that it returns null. Uh, Sh shouldn't happen in vanilla. vanilla. Shouldn't and happen in <laughs> vanilla are two things that do not fit well together. Yeah, yeah. but I fixed it already. Just okay, great. Just to update. Um, and if your miner does only bring back ore blocks, that means she's not encountering normal ore on the way. Those ore blocks is like a bonus we've added, because depending on the biome and these kinds of things, we know that sometimes the miner doesn't get you a lot of return. So we added an additional return to it. Like an Did additional you restart bonus. it yet? No. I thought you were going to restart it. <laughs> I'm doing it now. 
I thought you were going to restart it and upload the fix of performance. Ah. Yeah, can do that as well. <laughs> Th that might make a lot of sense, actually. <laughs> I mean, it only sometimes happens on server starting, so. I had it happen yesterday when we restarted and today when we restarted. From my personal bias, it seems 100% of the restarts. Okay, I'm updating. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Meanwhile. Yes. Um, restart in three minutes or so. So, I'm, I'm so exhausted, you got no idea, but literally I was 10 hours, my fault, nothing is my fault, it's some add-ons fault. Um, so, we were, I was working around 10 hours today on the on the porting so that is at least 10 hours let's say it like this even that was a significant portion of my day sounds like a normal Sunday <laughs> yeah sounds like a perfect Sunday exactly all day porting that was a, what I was basically doing all day long I was even already getting those Shizzles in front of my eyes. I was like, yeah. I think I gotta stop seeing code now. I'm restarting now. Okay. Um, and a short restart. Let's switch this then to the chat widget. Now you get to use your fancy overlays. Yeah, you can use the fancy overlays now. You can actually see the chat in OBS. A ring of it. Um, is the end accessible from a spawn? I don't think so. Not yet, at least. Um, nothing happened to the backpack mod. No mod was removed yet. It was only, it, and it's only going to be Corrails, it's not going to be any of the backpack mods. So you Imagine might, that. so you might have lost it. We're really close to 10 million downloads, by the way. Yeah. I think we're going to hit 10 million tomorrow. We're missing only 8,000 downloads. So very likely we're going to hit it tomorrow imagine we got one dollar each download <laughs> yeah that would be a dream wouldn't it <laughs> lord i'd be happy with 10 cents already <laughs> oh one cent that'd be 100k one cent per download Yeah. Oh, well. worst well paid coding job ever. <laughs> yeah. Mothers get a dollar an hour <laughs> for their work. So. Um, pretty neatly, I, I just checked in today on Pretzel Rock and they are going to be setting up a new music channels starting in August 1st, I think, which is going to be basically pretty good because they're going to have Chaz and Lo-Fi, so I'm going to be super happy. <laughs> I'm a jazz and lo-fi fan. If they had some nice bossa nova or something like that, I would definitely go for that. 
a big Bossa Nova fan. Jay is at 76 million. That's even not considering it's a mod that goes in literally every mod pack. The utility mod. Doesn't even seem so much, to be honest. But it's because it's rarely updated, right? <laughs> That's a lie, Kugo. Uh, oh, you're still seeing the chat? Sorry. There we are, we're back. There we go. Um, but, but I'm pretty glad, even though it was a ton of work, I'm really glad to having a decent part of the porting done. So I don't have it at the back of my head bugging me. Got a port, got a port, got a port, got a port. <laughs> you got some weird noises in your head. <laughs> yeah. What zombie awkward. Oh, you could sleep by the way. Yeah, I just logged in and saw five zombies running to me. Oops. I'm getting shot. And I'm low on health. Oh wow, second one. Okay. okay, great. I did not get a new MIG. It's still the same one. If it sounds better now, it's because randomly I got it at a better distance or something. <laughs> I got put in fire. Yeah. I love when that happens. Oh, on fire too. A guard too. Yeah. Hey horsey, are you doing? He has 26 health left. So. <laughs> ah, if it's only that. Oh. If we have 10 max. <laughs> yeah. My pitch sound is a bit higher. That could be because I'm tired today, after 12 hours of running back and forth between Minecraft versions. Yeah, I'm mining this mountain here. <laughs> I thought this mountain here is ugly and I wanted gun. I'm not drinking port. <laughs> um, as a good human, I thought nothing better than having a little bit of invasive human action in good looking normal biomes, you know, classic human thing. I said we want things to be realistic, right? Yeah. Don't form, uh, forget to set everything on fire. <laughs> it's important. Yeah, or the classical human way to make space for invasive farming is burning down the place first, usually. Yes. Yeah. Works, works usually well. Works usually well. It's, it's pretty impressive, even. Um, have you ever watched the Ecosia videos? No. It's, there's the search machi machine Ecosia, right? And they've now planted around 100 million trees. And... 
usually what they do is they go into places that have like huge issues with the certification and these kinds of things and so they're for example in parts of brazil and big parts of africa burkina faso etc and huge parts of the areas that are um desert are actually desert because of um animal farming basically what people started farming an area um got the animals eating in eating up the forests basically and then after because of the quantity of animals basically they couldn't there wasn't the possibility to grow a forest anymore because they would just yeah. eat every tree that was going to grow yeah, like and then they d the, the wind kind of draws up all ground and it becomes kind of desert yeah exactly so besides there are some other things like they start um you have like rivers and people make rivers go faster so the water reaches faster the land but in the end that also means that the water is eventually not going to go out relatively quickly so when it's rain season the water runs down the river and is gone then right yeah so what one of the things they do is also sl slow down the the river significantly and yeah, it's it's pretty impressive how they with not a lot of effort compared like you would think there's a shit ton of effort to grow back something like this right it's of course a lot of effort but compared they regrow entire regions that are just desert so that's pretty amazing. Support Ecosia, people. There's no need to Google. You can Ecosia as well. Um, I guess the tool broke. Really? And I think I don't have any topaz with me, do I? Mm, any game should work. Any, any game should work? Yeah. Any game can repair. Okay, I got it back to 1k. Let's see if we get the other remaining three gems here. Bear it further. And it's pretty impressive. They did a similar study in the Scottish Highlands, right? Like you would think that the Scottish Highlands were always like those green highlands, right? Yeah. But actually it all was thick forest kind of rainforest there but basically human agriculture uh, humans got there with all their sheep that were plowing down the land and now even though there are not a lot of sheep anymore um they're now they're no natural um enemies anymore of all the deer etc so they reproduce a lot and eat up all the potential trees and they found like five centimeter centimeter high trees that were 30 years old <laughs> like since for 30 years this tree is trying to grow but every time it goes above um five centimeters it gets eaten up basically and there's a relatively big project there where they're basically they did only one thing and that is putting because they don't have the resources that was just putting fences around it and that basically healed up significant portions of land within five ten within ten years the, the entire land heals completely It's oh, quite amazing. It's super impressive. Yeah, that 
the project has one has these has that as a as a goal basically yes they want to reintroduce natural predators to then have the balance back after removing the fences then later again too Okay, let me just throw a, away a little bit of that the chunk I have with me. And there are a lot of big projects they're basically doing in deserts, especially at Koja, which where they're really doing amazing work. And in general, it's like getting people to accept that they should not have their animals grass in these areas is like one of the big things um, redstone dust I don't need that what else can I throw away 19 arrows I won't throw away that I to use that to heal my thing smooth 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 There we go. Hi, Captain Salt. You're timing out at the moment. Try again. At the moment it's working fine. Ah, for me. Okay. I'm yes, way. I saw a huge project where China did something similar. Basically, they ha like one of the reasons they got all this smog in the cities um, and that pollution was also because they basically streamlined their rivers to be able to use um, transport systems in the rivers, right? And... That caused that when it rains, the rain is going to wash down all the dust from the mountains down to the big cities, basically. Right. And so that on one hand causes that the area up there has desertification because the water doesn't stay. And all the bad minerals, etc. All the good minerals are brought down to the city where they then got the problems of <laughs> it's it's so funny <laughs> like where one thing leads yeah. to another okay so i guess i'm gonna go on that side again so uh. yeah. wait wait so I gotta mine the waystone again and I find I have horsey. To check again how many died. Where's horsey? Horsey? Ow. Our farmer died too. Our farmer died. We got like seven unemployed. Oh wow. What happened again? Wizzy, no what idea. did you do? Wizzy. Yeah, what is this? Ouch. Our cook died. Ouch. Our cook died too. Wow, how many people died? So I gotta go home. There. Our builder died. Our builder died. Yes. Which one? Uh, the first one. Oh, I by the way found also a broken chunk border here. Yeah, we found some. Huh? <laughs> I'm not sure. We got a, a big one. I'll see if we need to fix it. And our was I died too. Both builders? Yeah. Oh. And... How did this... Two, two guards. Yeah. So there was only one way he left our town alone and it. So Wizzy was online, left our colony to its demise. 
I see. <laughs> I see. Leaving our colony to its demise. Hi, Tiny Tots. We're complaining to Wizzy, letting our entire colony die. Our two builders. I got attached already to Violet. And Ray. We got seven unemployed, so we got two survivors basically. How did you do that, Lissy? <laughs> two guards did survive. Two guards, especially guards, like. Yeah. Hey, come on. I think yeah, Lumberjack is missing as well. I think we can't hire one. No. I think we start. Gotta start making the rule that the colony can't be loaded. Outside of stream time. <laughs> yeah, and code that in too. I'm going to code that in. Because we got all the time, like we got up to now already twice, our entire colony died. We were not even online. Okay, I'm not falling down this one here this time. There shouldn't be a raid when you're not in the same dim. Ah. This one when he is online and uh, our colony <coughs> chunks are louder. Ah, when the colony chunks are somewhat loaded, yes, but how are they loaded if he's in. That's a good question. I'm not sure. Okay. Although my tavern thing fixes one of the issues with very accidentally low chunks and that's random walking generation. The what? Uh, ah, that. But that should only happen when. When a player is in a colony, shouldn't it? When they walk in? No. That's what entities all do all the time, kinda. But is it possible that kind of the random walking is going to continue so long after leaving the colony? Because then we would also get raids. We would have gotten raids in the old colony too, while we were offline. Ah, it's because we are, everyone was offline. Yeah, I he was online. You need loaded and online. If it's only loaded, then... Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Bamboo forests are horrible to cross by horse. Uh, yes, don't try that. Oh, I tried that. You. With the with the iron machete, it's actually fairly easy, fairly an inconvenience. We still blame you. We're still going to blame you. Because because of you yeah. everyone yeah. died. Everyone. <laughs> I'm leaving a track of destruction. Behind, yeah, <laughs> I am <laughs> literally. <laughs> ah, the colony is in this. Ah, yeah, I have to cross the river. Nice, was able to cross the river. <laughs> yes. That's it. <laughs> and and all builders. If at least the builders did survive. Yeah, I'm bringing a lot of bamboo with me. I think. <laughs> Let 
There we go. We're getting close to the colony again. Almost there. We're very close. I know this village here. Ah! Oops. Don't fall into the same ravine again. <laughs> Ouch. I didn't fall in a ravine, I just fell three blocks. Horsey didn't like it though. Yeah, not yet. Not yet, yes. <laughs> That's why I'm playing you before it. <laughs> Oops. We can do this. We can do this. There we go. Yes! We almost made it! Horsey! We made it almost. Pistol? No. I think I don't have any bones with me anymore. No. Also, will my villagers refuse to use stone tools now that they can... No, they will use both. Stone and iron tools. Yeah, road projects are always pretty awesome. They will they will still use um, uh, wooden tools as well, if that's the only thing you give them. And I forgot to say hi, Ace Magix, to our stream. Hope you're still here. There we go. 400 blocks. And this here is a fairly familiar area. Oh, there's a sprint mode as well for horses. Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> That's why you guys were always faster than I was. <laughs> well, I didn't know that there was a sprint mode for horses. Yeah. <laughs> always late for the party. <laughs> Yeah, he's going to ask for a higher tool if there's um, a blog on the way he can't mine exactly. Okay. So, what are builders working on? Can I open. Yes, I can open chests again. Thank God. Hey. I'm going to dump a few of the things in here. Uh, we got a bit of space. And I'm going to get some wood to make a bunch of chests. Oh, stack. There's nine back. There we go. Okay. Oops. There we go. There we dump all the sandstone. So that should be enough for a while. Hopefully. No hours. It doesn't save nothing to eat either. Yeah. <laughs> Such a disaster. <laughs> what a disaster. What can we uh, what are we coming on here on for? It's like for me in this play. Everything is dead when he knocks it. <laughs> it's just Wizzy giving us reason to blame him for things. There we go. By the way, you can join voice as well, Wizzy. You can 
complain directly to you and don't have to gossip behind your back. That would feel morally better. Gossip, uh, complaining directly to you. Um, it is a weird problem. Are you clicking done after teaching the recipe? Let me try if there's maybe a sync issue with the new tag based system. This is gonna report us to the, to the server admin. So no. No. I'm going to have to kick myself, that would be unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me, let me check if it works for me. Um, um, teach recipe... What can we teach here? What kind of soup? Potato soup? It worked for me. Oh, everyone is hungry, it How's seems. How's the work going? Do we have food for them? Everyone is hungry, literally everyone. Yeah, I already gave them like 25 fish, but I didn't have more. Did you try... Um... Um, st shutting it up and down again, turning it on and off again. I have a feeling. Did you like not only relog from the server, but really restart the pack? Did you try that? See if I can. Oh, bad George! I can help the Like she got a lot of cooked cod. I'm going to give. She got 20 cod. Oh, so then I accidentally gave her all. <laughs> no, so just she, it was the cook. <laughs> just restart the client. Oh, <laughs> you gave it to her instead of the cook. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Okay. If you say so. Okay. Don't we have any potatoes anymore? I just get that sweaty or so and smelting them now. Okay, smelting them. I think that might not be a good idea. Well, you want baked potato. So you are baking them? No, no, smelting. <laughs> <laughs> but I get baked potato out of it. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> the fun is, obviously, it, it smells. <laughs> that's that's very weird. Um, yeah, maybe you have to re-download uh, the pack. Yes. Oh wait, oh. wait. Did you download the newest version? The one we pointed out? Like we updated to the newest Mind Colonies version around 3-4 I'll days ago. I'll take yeah, care we of it. Yeah, we manually updated. You know what? But no, we no, manually no, updated. It. It's not the What's pack today, update. Then? You have I to help, I guess. update it manually. You have to download the mod and, and put it so in your mod pack. Going. What's it today then? Yeah. That is, that is a problem. You're on an old version. I'll take care of it. And so you can't send messages. Most messages are not going to work. It's one of these weird forged things that used to work better in the past. Yeah. But it's because I think they don't like there. There is no real mod version check. No, they don't check mod versions. Instead, they check network 
network versions which you have to additionally set if you want that which like no one does um you download the i think we are in the 21 one version couldn't it wait till monday those here and this there just Fine. the mine colonies version yes you just download the 21.1 version and put mine colonies in on it gonna put a roof over that head okay guard tower one sandstone and white bat already including that okay he needed an axe as well i gave him that one oh, so I'm going to so check. He's working again. Hey. Yeah, he was only needing that to start continue working. Yes, not the full pack, only that. That's a known forge issue. Yes, they say it's intentional. The other one is almost finished with the citizen too, at least. Only needing food. Eh, uh, only, only needing torches. I need food. No, no we can't sing it there as a server. Uh, after place, yes. We can't scan in the server, she means, I think. It might be, but we definitely can't sing it there as a server. <laughs> see what else what are they going to work on next I think the university is the next one scheduled isn't it I don't think anyone dared to click upgrade on that one <laughs> I, I did I did really I did okay see you in three days <laughs> <laughs> yes the 21.1 at 20.1 it's the one with dot one at the end, additionally. Yeah, just add dots to the end and it works. Uh, <laughs> not, don't do that. <laughs> it's the, let me double check. The 21.1, .1, I was right. Not the 21.1.1? No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, University 2 is the next one. Ah, I just pushed the university up just a second too late. <laughs> it started in the tunnel already, but the other one is going to be ready in a second too. Fortune as Walgreen. Finished here the citizen hut. Level 2. So that's good. Just want to put up some doors. Mm. Instead of upgrading our university, we can probably build like 15 guard towers. <laughs> <laughs> Should be about the same materials. Um, I mean, 15 guard towers would make our colony a lot safer. <laughs> and that that's true. Okay, I got a 60 for a steak ready at least. Now just waiting three days. But we do have, like the university is crucial because 15 guard towers, we can't have so many additional guards without having the university in one level two finally to research the yeah. next. No, no need for updating structure rise. Maybe we just build the Birch University somewhere off where no one can see it. <laughs> I do. I still do have to port the uh, rendering changes to the to structureize the overlay to one sixteen two. Oh, did it change in one sixteen? Yeah, because it has rendering. 
GUI in rendering. Wow. But it, but it's not so bad. I, I have to say, I looked into it, and it's really not bad at all. I don't know yeah, why Nightingale was complaining. Just missing mapping. No, it was, it was literally just, um, or ninety percent of it was just adding a metric stack to the rendering. Okay. It's like one additional argument you're putting through the, through it. Yeah. So that was not bad at all. Mine colonies, on the other hand, was a whole lot of pain because we were using the int IDs everywhere, right? Yeah. Of the dimension IDs. So I had to reset all yes, the dimension sir. ideas. Right. And so what happens with colony unique ideas? Oh, they become funny long unique ideas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so strings instead of integer ideas. Yes. Oh god. Right. Maybe we can also switch to actual unique IDs for colonies. Like across dimensions. What uh, do the hair heart colors mean for the guards? Um the more health they have and the different the heart colors get. I yeah. like that. Um, I think blue it's, was two hearts. It's red, yellow, green, blue. I think it was, yes. Yeah, yeah. So red is 10, then uh, yellow is another line to make it 20, then green, we got another line to make it 30, and then we got one and a half. Wake up. Sleeping on the chop in front of his boss. I don't, I'm sh I think blue is the maximum. Unsure about it though. There could be more. Oops. Here's the miner. I'm hiring a miner. We have a miner? Nice. Yes, we do. <laughs> now we need someone who makes food. Yeah, we need to place a second field, a potato field for the farmer. Yeah. Yeah, we wanted the miner there to get a bit of sandstone the way down, Wizzy. Although, at least when reaching the lower Y level, there shouldn't be any more caves. There should be a few caves in the way, but afterwards it should be fine. We'll see. Maybe he kills the end portal. <laughs> oh, if it's very unfortunate... No, no, the end portal is farther away. This should be fine. Should. Focus on should. <laughs> uh, it, it, yeah, I think it's nearly done soon, maybe. Maybe trademark. Um Yeah, I'm thinking about a way to potentially just do a little hack to make it work for the miner already. Uh, Wissy configured it to make a little bit less caves to avoid having too much entities underground around. But in general it should be relatively easy to just have another miner working on a different Y level since they don't interfere with each other. You just gotta, and we don't have multi-threading, you just gotta have an additional variable that assigns a miner yeah. to a level and not only the level to the miner. Hmm. 
And I'm waiting for someone else to sleep. Some addons? Oh, that's why it didn't get me. <laughs> I'm coming. What are our patrons doing? Just, just preventing us from sleeping? <laughs> oh, only now all colonists are tucked into the bed. That took a while. Oh, yeah. Why? And I keep getting attacked here by zombies despite it all being not lit up. Right away. Here. Now you're coming. I can help you with that. Yo. At least we got all the citizens to sleep. That's all that already a partial win for sure. Yeah. Got them. I think we have another guard tower built now as well to assign a citizen to, don't we? We have another mm -hmm. citizen with a yeah, there, over there. I know there is. And I think there's one additional one behind the university too. Yep, both are finished. We got two more guard towers. Need to assign someone yeah. here. I could put some more into the middle of our colony as well. Here you go. If you say so. So we have some guards closer. Yeah, potentially too. And usually you can use small spaces which you don't need anyways. Okay. What is this builder here needing? Roger. We need a hammer and some stones, and ready is the new house. Three hundred sandstone you need. I'm okay. I'm assigning this here. I'm taking care of Roger. Okay, who's Roger? <laughs> the new builder. Ah, uh, can't remember the names. That's all. <laughs> Maybe we give them arbitrary names like Builder A and Builder B. <laughs> builder A and Builder B? You're dehumanizing them. Aren't you ashamed? Well, they die all the time, so... If you say so. <laughs> okay. So where is all the sandstone? If I call them human A and human B, is that fine then? <laughs> <laughs> sandstone, 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 sandstone. How about the left behind here? What else do we need? Bunch of cobblestone, bunch of sandstone. Oh, he's working on the university, I get it. So you take care of the other builder. Dehumanizing the non-human entities, right? <laughs> but where does it start? Where does it end? Cactus stairs. Can I help you with that? Ouch! I hit my finger again. Um. 30 cobblestone Need to bring him cobble then Yeah, I'm not going all in with the smooth sandstone. I'm too afraid of him dying while Wizzy is in the nether In the nether in parenthesis If he's doing it on purpose to sabotage our operation. <laughs> I, I think she just discovered. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, we do have like 100 in the first. Cactus ramp doors we also need. Get some cactus around here too. I don't think so. Need to get some cactus as well before we return there. We don't have anyone assigned to the lumberjack at the moment. And Jana died. Great. I'll How take care of it. Come on, don't tell me that there is again a letter mod. I hate it. I hate letter mods. They gave me so much additional work. Yeah, true. But I still do not oh. like that mods. Well, God ventured in the cave below. <laughs> she died in the cave? Yeah, with tons of mobs in it. Oh, wow. How did she get, how did she get there? Ah, yes, some opening. We should probably close that. Because else they yeah, probably tend to so. wandering into it and then they kill one mod after the other at the, at, until they're like really deep into it, right? Yeah. Well, sometimes they go dumping. There we go. So, let's see if I find any left hours of the guard. One stone sword. Eh. Uh, did the guard not even have armor or shield or anything? No, the new guard I hired didn't give anything. <laughs> ah, well. What can I do for oh, you? Now you died. <laughs> so other ones have like a shield, full armor set, full an iron sword. <laughs> yes, saw it. This is, this one had just one. Yes, my lord. My pick can handle this. Oh, yeah. I'll take care of it. Okay. So you should start working, I guess. Yes. Oh, funny. He's actually there down here in our mine. In our area here. Have to help him out quickly. Who's asking? I should probably close this here around him. In our colony, under our guard tower. Hmm? Oh, we see us get by the caves. No, I mean the cave of the... of the miner. The miner is pretty exactly under our area here. No. So he does get sandstone. He is going to get a bit of sandstone at least. Yeah. Eh. Now, but that is our cave. <laughs> but it's not a big one, fortunately. Cobblestone. Still have some with me, but not enough anymore. Nah, Wizzy, don't worry. She's going to be fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's Unless fine. we kill everyone again. <laughs> Unless you let everyone die again, it's fine. Oh, wait. The wrong place to put it, probably, too. Damn, be damn. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> the 
Cut the metal owl anymore. <laughs> I see. Wizzy is doing it poten okay, potentially intentionally. Uh -huh. What do we build next? Cobblestone. Ouch. Hit my finger again. Sandstone stairs. That's weird. You're into twenty one dot one now, right? On this one here. It's a twenty one dot one cactus wrap doors. Cobblestone wall. It's weird. I also wanted oak bookshelf. Oh, it's time to sleep again. Yeah. What kind of crash was it? Was it potentially one of these forge loader crashes? Just because you seem super lucky today? <laughs> yes. Just because you know how much I love him. Um, we do not have a lot of oak. We have a lot of books. But I think, hopefully, we got some of it at the lumber check. Just praying for it. Yes, no. Really? Yes, no. Yes, no. Maybe? It looked like oak. It wasn't oak. It was yes, no. Oh, great. We have one oak log left. No oak saplings left. How did that happen? We had a ton of oak. I think it Maybe was our lumberjack has some zeppelins. Our lumberjack died. Yeah, but maybe his hut has some zeppelins. Oh, I can check if there is some saplings there at least. True. I do not like the mods that add the different. Is that is that quark or is that vanilla? No. Which no saplings one? here. Um. Having additional bookshelves. I think that's actually vanilla. Work, it's work. I dislike it. Yeah. It's... It makes mine colonies more difficult. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting some potato here again. That I'm going to give to the builder, uh, to the builder, to the cook. <laughs> Oops, wrong direction. I can help, I guess. I can help, I guess. Yeah, chests can be pretty annoying too, yes.
But I think we have some saplings yet in our station here. We check on that. We do. Just gotta plant them. You just have to wait a second. Um, you should. That uh, if you if you log in, there needs a few seconds for the message. You crashed again. Can you send me your crash log? <laughs> so I can check it out and see what the problem is. We needed to update structure as well, also. No, it wasn't. Only my colonies. Sounds like super unlucky. But if we are, if we are lucky, Forge fixes it till well one eighty. <laughs> to not randomly crash anymore. Yeah. Better. It's so close to the end of flames. And while I wait for all these things to. Miner is fine, I see. Okay, Miner is doing well. And I still only have eight oak planks. Yeah, can you send me your your crash log on Discord, Margo? I can check them out after the stream. If I do not fall asleep, then I'm going to check them out tomorrow. If you remind me. I thought you spent the night on reworking the scale system. No way. <laughs> I'm falling apart already. I'm falling asleep sitting almost. Super tired. Super exhausted. You need more coding training. You can code for 24 hours straight. Yeah, only 12 hour exhaustive super exhaustive coding one yeah. thing is like new feature coding or something like that and but another thing is like going okay. through compile or errors checking through shit ton of undocumented mojang code Ow. Hit my finger again. what's next here lectern Four lectern. How do we craft bookshelves? But whichever bookshelf, right? That's at least something. Just four lectern. Four, yes. Three, four, one, two, three, four. And slabs. One, two, more slabs, three, and four, done. Ouch, I hit my finger again. Yeah, in big uh, game companies, they got a lot of. In big companies, they often have like those crunch things. Uh, one smooth sandstone and four smooth sandstone slabs. So there, there, it does happen that they work sixty-hour weeks or something. But I am working. Just to remind you, I am working sixty-hour weeks. 
I did just a 12 hour day today after my 60 hour week. Probably finishing up something like a 65, 70 hour week this week because of the additional crunch this weekend. Be not mistaken. Um, Upgrading set. Red stained glass panes. Men gotta do what men gotta do. Four smooth sandstone stairs and one smooth. Okay. And stairs and slabs. Men gotta do what men gotta do. I love yellow stained glass pane and red stained glass pane. Um, Rello and yet glass pane. Do we have a bunch of glass around? Some add-ons. Oh, it, I flew out of an high pharaoh wolf, yes. Some add-ons? Yes. Do we have glass around? Yeah, next to sand. Where is it? Our storage. In which storage? And this one here? I found it, I think, yes. So... It is more glass than this, okay. Um, I need red stained glass pane and yellow stained glass pane. At least those are not so difficult to get. Got a bunch of red color here, and I think I dropped off the other one here. I did. Okay. There we go. How much was it? Again. 32 yellow. Thirty two yellow. And how much red? Oops, wrong one. Still wrong one. Uh, wait, didn't Nighting want to do something on structure on Tuesday? He said, Yes, then we could maybe tell him to port it to 116 as well. Oh, he already ported. Oh, we have, yeah, no, but since he's on it, then he can do both. <laughs> okay, we got. In we, we got raiders. That's bad. It is. It's gonna fix this here quickly. For more, okay. southwest. I think it's just enough to not have. <laughs> Thirty <laughs> percent. Damn it. Yes, thanks. Oh, thanks, it's... Ninja. Thanks. Southwest. I was thinking of, of just kicking someone. <laughs> so <I just> didn't <laughs> <get again. laughs> that would be funny, yes. No thirty percent kick. Now it works. Yes, very nice. Thanks a lot for the second month subscription, Feral Wolf. Southwest, I can see them. Where are you? Lacking behind? Southwest. I got one of our guards. Oops. 
So I got them on aggro. <laughs> oh, you found them. Do you want help or should I just continue? Uh, you can help me. But you can just, for now, just shoot up those that are there around still waiting. Meanwhile, I guide the other ones around. Ah, here's a spot. How did you do that? I'm gonna break all of your legs. Ow! That hurt! That a little. I guess it's not good if you have no armor at all. Ow, I got hit hurt. once Ow. by a normal <laughs> barbarian and then got shot once and then I died. <laughs> Thanks, Rizzy. That helps, certainly. What did he do? do that. I made the nerd do that. pole do that. and sniped him. Ow. <laughs> that was unfair. Yeah, I also <laughs> have zero armor. <laughs> That's a yeah, way to engage. Too. He dies so, so quickly with that. Oh, I, I killed him with the key. <laughs> <laughs> I literally killed him with okay. the key. Guess it works. Guess it works. Yeah, I mean it's it's a it's okay strategy. You can still usually. I was almost shot down from up there by the archers, right? Yeah, but and isn't too great of a strategy with archers around. And when you're long enough up there, they're going to start placing ladders and start breaking the blocks you stand on. So it works maybe against three, four tops. 3 4 non archers, right? Okay, um, I got those here and those here. I'm going to deliver them. Yeah, but it only works if like 3 4. If you have like 6 7 standing down there, I think there's a de decent chance to get shut down quickly. Yeah. Enough art just and you got it. Hammer and some stones, and Freddy is the new Wait, house. I have this in here. Yes. Ouch. Hit my finger again. But I think that's gonna change anyway when Ouch. I add the uh, exploding Hit ones. Barrel. <laughs> the exploding one. Couldn't it wait to oh, God, no. build next? <laughs> Something like that. So the builder has enough for the first bucket of the university now. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to need a bunch more of that of that stuff. That's going to be fun. Um, ah, wow, well, I can't even do a simple pack <laughs> where, um, we started a bit early today and I'm going to call it quits a little bit early today as well. I'm super tired and I gotta go to sleep. Um, thanks everyone for tuning in. Thanks for joining me in today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the stream. We did some progress in general, hired a bunch of our workers, got the miners to work, got the university started and a bunch of blocks there placed already. 
and got all our citizens fed again. So I do hope that when I'm going offline now, Wizzy is not going to get them all killed again. <laughs> I'd be very glad about that. Um, have a good one, everyone. If you want to support our project, you can always follow, subscribe, and become a Patreon. Thank you for turning in here today. Welcome, Lucas V2. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. <laughs> you will. <laughs>